a welcome aboard everybody today I'm gonna to be doing tutorial for mushroom picker simulator that's right for those of you that love shrooms and love the art of picking them I'm gonna show you how to play this game because it may not be that intuitive so let's go ahead and first start with the settings I'm gonna go over the menu here it uses a regular WASD to move around left shift just like any game that has a first-person shooter um, you got your left button to pick up things and a binoculars which is a right button and one two three for eat drink and heal you'll be worrying about those later let's talk about the settings here the sound is really loud so I had to turn it way down sound is down and if you prefer Russian language that is fine this game kind of looks like the thief simulator um, uh, set engine it looks very similar so if you want to get better performance bring the shadows down here I'm running it on high because this game doesn't run all so great um, okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the hut let me explain a couple of things here you have a license and each license allows you to go into a forest area to do picking once so this is what you need to get in there here's your energy thirst and max weight that you can carry mushrooms don't weigh that much let's go ahead and look at the hut here you can buy these things to increase your experience for example generator the lighting and all that. these will come in play later on and um, this will help you too so but these cost a lot of money and right now you're not gonna be able to afford any of this because you have no money at all and you can talk about upgrades here you can get this small basket that carry up to 40 mushrooms we don't need to worry about that first because the first mission is to pick up 10 mushrooms and that's all you got to do once you get that going you'll be good but a lot of little goodies you can get to increase your um, picking ability you can get the boots and stuff because you do get leg injuries in this game one thing you have to watch out for is it's very easy to get leg injury and bit by snakes so let's go ahead and we're gonna get into this thing go to the forest and we're gonna get on with the action so one thing you got to really watch out for are the snakes um, the snakes the snakes I wish you could play this without the snakes, but no, you cannot. Um, so <laughs> that's the deal with this. Anyway, so what you can tell you get near a snake is you'll hear a hiss sometimes and sometimes not. Sometimes they just bite you and you're going to get poisoned and that'll be that. So you got to be careful. This game basically revolves around looking on the ground for mushrooms and some of them are quite colorful. And if you've ever done this in real life, um, it's quite different because in real life mushrooms are they grow in kind of obvious places like in the shade whereas out here they grow anywhere so they can be anywhere and everywhere at random and there'll be one mushroom here and none over there in real life you're gonna get mushrooms that are gonna be in a cluster um, so you know that you get one you're gonna get another but uh, this game it's not that way there are a few tricks to getting the mushrooms Okay, there we go you see how it draws out like this you can see the mushrooms in the distance sometimes all right it's cloudy we know it temperature 14 degrees centigrade not a warm day and this shows you where you begin out here and you're gonna begin somewhere up there and uh, it doesn't it's not a real-time map or anything it just gives you an idea of where you kind of are so these are your things you can press M for map okay so the red is your start position it starts you here so you know you got a road to the north and the south like this there's no compass or anything and what you can do is you can look around like this and in the distance sometimes you can see the mushrooms you have to know what to look for but um, let's go ahead and do that okay so I think there's one out something out there Yep, there you go. See how I got this mushroom coming up here? See how that is? You can kind of see it in the distance like there. Okay, so that left click, you pick it up. And remember, keep an eye out for uh, snakes. There's another mushroom here. And, oh, good, there's a couple of them. But that only count as one mushroom. So you can kind of see it if you look real far away. It's one of the tricks. So we got two mushrooms. We need ten mushrooms. Sometimes you can see, see how it doesn't draw the foliage out there? Look around here. I don't always like to go into the forest. 
because it's a little dangerous in there with snakes. Uh, let's see, we're, see there's no grass out there and th these are separate, the mushrooms are separate from grass. So this is how you get mushrooms. There's one. See that one right over there? Way down there? And there should be one right around here somewhere. And where are you? And you gotta look around for him a little bit. It's gotta be somewhere. It's just hard. If you have bad eyesight, this is gonna be a rough game for, for you. I'll tell you that. It's just will. But anyway, you saw it and um, listen for the snakes. And it's like I said, it's easy to get lost. I don't know who really goes and picks mushrooms uh, nowadays. You see, it could be on the floor. I don't want to move to get you guys car sick. I'll move real slow. But there should be some around here. And the snakes, do not step on the snakes. Yeah, sometimes you have to keep your bearings. So wait out there. Let's see, where are your mushrooms? Look for where the foliage stops, I mean the, the, the grass, and you can see something in the distance. Remember, they are all in random locations. They can be out in the middle of nowhere. There, that is a mushroom down there. See it? And that is one. I'm not going to be fooled this time. Focus on the mushroom. There you go. Just like that. That's how you get your mushrooms. Okay. And we got another one. So that's number four. Huh. You didn't give me credit for it. Just three? Okay. So let's keep looking out in the distance. See if we can find something out way out in the dirt there. Way out in the distance. So far we haven't gotten bitten, haven't got uh, a snake bite, so all is good. We can't, oh there we go, here's one right here. So another mushroom, let's hope this counts, we should have three. Okay, so I guess that was just four. We got four mushrooms, and I believe, let's see, where is it? That would be cool if that was a mushroom, but it's not. So... There should be something way out in the distance there. And like I said, these mushrooms are not in logical places at all. Oh, look at these right here. Some are just right there. That's five. I'm going to try to get ten mushrooms here so you guys can see what uh, you get after you do that. Let's see, some are here. Come on, mushroom, where are you? If you love the forest, this game is for you. You can just lose yourself here. Hopefully you don't get bit by a snake. Or trip on a rock. That's another way where you get hurt. If you like hidden object games, this will probably be right up your alley. If you like it, hidden object games with moving around, even better there's a mushroom. Okay, bearing right on mushroom. I will not be fooled this time. There you go. When you get the binoculars, it's even better because you can hit the right button and go to binoculars and you can see way out there. You can see every single mushroom in the forest. It's really easy. Let's go ahead and look this way. We want to get in an area where there's no foliage. So, or no grass. And it's hard to see. Maybe we can see some mushroom on the hill. See, oh, let's back up a little. Do we see any mushrooms? Is that a mushroom way out there? That would be the longest mushroom. See, I like how the you don't see anything out here. In fact, might be able to set the view distance. Let's set the view distance to medium. 
and uh, this may actually help. Ah, that's a lot better. And that's really good. So this is how to even get better visuals and be a better mushroom picker is to set the view distance way, way, way down. Aha, uh -huh. and there's probably mushrooms out there everywhere. Okay, let's see. Let's set it down a little bit less. And uh, view distance low. Ah, there we go. And this will also, in addition to that, it will improve the gameplay speed, the performance. Because see how this... Ah, there we go. There's our mushroom. There he is. Yeah, wasn't that nice? And I believe that's a mushroom out there too. Oops, it got stuck in there. Ah, uh, there you go. There's our mushrooms out there. Here's one guy right up here. And so far no bites. We're going to go for mushroom number eight. Looks like we got some good names for these mushrooms. And we can look around through here. Wow, hunting for mushrooms in the desert. I like this. There's one guy over there. Number nine, and let's just try one more thing. Let's go and set the view distance a very low. There you go. Okay, and now, oh yeah, would that be cool if that was a mushroom? It is not, but I've seen big mushrooms before. Oh, that's a big whatever. Okay, so let's look for mushroom. None there. I don't hear any. Oh, well. Wow. Trees redraw. Okay, so let's go this way. Aha. That's more like it. Now you can see just how hard it is to get these mushrooms. They meant this game for people to have a lot of time to search for their shrooms. Where are you? There you go. All right, radar detected. Mushroom right here. Yes. There we go. We got that. Collect mushrooms and successfully. There we go. Collect 10 inedible mushrooms. All right. So up there, we're a little low on energy. And uh, we have got our mushrooms. Let's go ahead and resume. And so exit from the forest is up at the north right there of course where is the north that is the question so we're going to try to exit from the forest i think it's all the way back here and trees are just going to pop up in your face this is better so that's probably that way Let's see which way the forest goes. Oh, there's more mushrooms. I can't help myself. Okay, we're going to go ahead and pick more mushrooms on the way just because we want to. Get 11 mushrooms and we'll get on the way out. This is a mushroom right here, I believe. And there's another one up there. Oh, I'm so tempted to get that mushroom. I believe this is, we put the map up. This should be, can't tell which way we're going. There's an exit either way at the end of this road. So we're gonna go either way up or down the road until we get it. Let's go get this mushroom. Oh yeah, look at that. And it looks like they got the names right on it. Although it would be cool if they had different kind of mushrooms. I've seen one that looked like a soccer ball before. And if you kick it, all these spores come out of it. There we go. Getting out of here. And this is the road.
luckily no snakes yet so everything's all good mushroom hunting in the desert okay which way is which I think this is the north and uh, even if it is or isn't we're gonna go to the north I believe it should be Got a mushroom there. Oh yeah. Much more fun to play this way. And you're going to do a whole lot of walking out here. But enjoy the scenery here. Leg injury. Now, how did I get the leg injury when I'm walking on concrete? You need to get med kits to fix that. Well, there you go. That means I picked up too many. Oh, this ain't good. Come on, we got to get out of here. Later on, you can buy a med kit to do it, but the, <laughs> the leg injuries are just random. So make sure you bring med kits with you. Somehow I got injured, but look at all the mushrooms out there. You can see them just in the distance like that guy over there I'm so tempted I'm gonna do it so it's kind of fun in a way it's just too bad about leg injuries and this life And with a leg injury, you can only walk. You can't run anymore. But hopefully we'll get out of here without dying. Oh, there's a big mushroom over there. Oh, my God. Oh, we're probably going to die out here. But I can't help myself. we got to get that big sucker. Yep. Here we go. Can't help myself. Another guy over here. Look at the names of these mushrooms. Hope we can exit this place sometime soon. Nothing over there. I don't know how we got a leg injury on just this flat ground out here. I have no idea. gonna take a little while oh boy are we gonna make it me and my mushrooms dang this road is long this is just crazy crazy long and successfully get out of the forest wow don't be greedy like me and pick up every mushroom in sight <laughs> but you know what? Uh, I can't help it. If this is going to take too long, I'm going to go ahead and um, end the video. Let's see if there's any ways to do this here. Nothing Naz pop map pause drink. I don't have anything to drink or anything like that. So 
This map is huge, as you can see. I think I see a road up there, I think. Although I could be getting delirious out here. There better not be more mushrooms because if there are, I'm probably going to go off the side of the road and want to pick them like this guy here. Oh man, can't help myself. I think we're going to die out here. Okay, I couldn't see him. I wasn't focusing. I think that's a road up there. So it's more than just picking the mushrooms, it's escaping the area. And that is really, really hard. As you can see right now, I'm running out of energy and water. Why do I do this? This is why this game is probably popular. Is it's people want to pick. They want to keep doing the same thing and hoping for a different result. Like this over here. Oh, I see. I did pick my 10 mushrooms. It took me that long, believe it or not. So there it is. Collect 10 inedible so the other mushrooms didn't count and dang no road in sight oh my gosh that's just crazy and as you can see the map does not update it doesn't tell you where you are. This place is so big. I just know that I passed a building on my right, which would mean I'm headed south here, but there's no compass or anything. And this road never ends. And I'm going slow as molasses. Okay, so there you go, guys. Let's come on. We're going to make it out of here. There's the road up there. Oh my gosh. There it is. I can see the poles. There's light at the end of the tunnel, but will we make it out of here? If we hit this road, we can maybe take a, a right. We can try to go like this. We will risk going through the forest. Now, if this is the one up here, I'm dead, but I don't think so. I think I've got it. So just like in the wilderness, you never know where you're at. Let's hope we get it. Come on. We're barely going to make it out of here. You've got to bring water with you. And I think that was... Great. You know what? I'm going to pick these. Boy, we're going to die in a gulch. We'll die down here and nobody will know we're even here. Come on. Didn't know you could die from picking mushrooms. We can do it. Come on. And as a bonus, there's a mushroom waiting right there, our final mushroom.
Dang, and another mushroom. So you could just basically stay along the road here. I believe that's the exit right there. Come on, we can do it. Man, it's so far. Let's go ahead and change the view settings a little bit. View distance a little higher. Even at this setting, it's pretty good. This is probably it. Are we going to make it? Energy is almost out. And we can't run. I think this is it. The bus stop. Funny, taking the bus out here. Ooh, okay, if you want to leave, stay here. Yes, we do. We made it, guys. We made it to the bus stop. Man, that was crazy. So, when coming out of here, don't make it as close as I am, but you don't have a compass, but uh, keep all those things in mind. You see, we made it out of here. Just If we didn't get injured, we'd be good. Okay, so... 125 experience, only 134 money, which is not much. So this is what we made here. And we can go back to here. So mission one is complete. And that was an experience, I'll tell you. But we got 25 mushrooms here. And go back to the hut. There you go, 230 experience and this. When you go back here, you get these all back to zero, which is good. And you can get the, this is actually good to get, is a bandage here. Uh, dislocations and fractures. Antidote would be okay to get too. And uh, snake villain and well, you can get all sorts of injuries here. And you can go back and upgrade the hut where you get more experience. We will need it. Let's go back and take a look at this here. Upgrade the equipment. You can buy all these to help your things. Let me see. There's one more thing. We got one license. You can obviously buy a license. And mission one has been completed. $140. Next is mission two. Which it is here. Find an antique metal jug. So it's not just doing that. You can also go in and get this. Oh, wow. Place marked on the map. That sounds very cool. The question is, is you're going to have to use the landmarks to get there. But anyway, there's a lot of missions. Check out how many missions there are. 14 missions. Wow. Lots of stuff. Keep you busy day in and day night. So thanks for watching. If you guys want to see more, go ahead and let me know. And if you like this, of course, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.